This is the perfect words to say to a narcissist to destroy them forever. Everyone, welcome back to another episode. Whether you're new here or a longtime viewer, thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoy what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to stay tuned for more videos every week. Now, let's dive into our main topic, handling a narcissist and breaking free from their influence. Dealing with a narcissist means dealing with someone who thinks they're super special, acts like a kid, and doesn't care about personal boundaries. On top of that, they're not big on understanding others or doing the right thing. These folks are skilled at twisting things around to get what they want, even if it means doing things most people wouldn't. They love to control conversations, make themselves look good, and play the hero or the victim. So, when you find yourself dealing with a narcissist, it's important to choose your battles wisely. Honestly, in many cases, the smart move is to quietly step away, keep things low-key, and not make a big deal about it. Once you've created some distance, sticking to that separation is key. But I get it. There might be times when you can't or don't want to walk away completely. If that's the case and you need to face a narcissist head-on, here's what you should keep in mind for a lasting solution. First things first, try your best to stay cool and not let your emotions take over. Treat your interactions like business dealings and avoid getting all worked up, no matter what they throw at you. It's crucial to keep a calm and collected vibe if you want to deal with a narcissist successfully. As you navigate through handling a narcissist, it's important to stay conscious and focused on keeping your cool. Ground yourself in the present, take deep breaths, and pay attention to what's going on in your body. The main idea is to stay chill and not let their drama affect you. It might sound tough, but don't worry, you've got this. You may find yourself facing a tough challenge, and it's important to be ready for it. There might be times when you feel really overwhelmed, wanting to express your emotions strongly. It's totally okay to feel that way, and expressing your feelings is completely fine. However, it's important to pick the right time and place for it. You can let your emotions out when you're alone, or with a trusted friend or someone supportive. If your goal is to deal with a narcissist, you might need to temporarily act like them. Be cold, detached, and not show much emotion. It might seem strange, but it's necessary. Don't waste your energy trying to reason with a narcissist. They won't listen, and your efforts might not get you anywhere. They're not acting like reasonable, rational adults. Instead, they're behaving like wounded and entitled individuals, almost like a difficult child. They'll do whatever it takes to provoke you, manipulate you, and control what others think. They might even seek revenge driven by resentment. The truth is, narcissists don't have a strong sense of right and wrong. They can do things that seem unimaginable to most of us without feeling guilty. Dealing with them can be surprising. They're good at creating situations that work for them, playing mind games, and leaving out important details. When dealing with a narcissist, be ready for these tactics and try to stay calm and composed. It's a challenge, but you have the strength to overcome it. In the complex world of human interactions, there are people who don't follow the usual rules, narcissists. Dealing with them requires a different approach because the strategies that work with most people don't work with them. You might be naturally caring, understanding, and loving, putting effort into communicating well and being patient. You might hope these qualities will help you connect with a narcissist. You might even be willing to go to great lengths to save the relationship. However, I suggest you let go of these ideas. The usual methods that work with reasonable, sane, and healthy adults don't work with a narcissist. In these unique situations, it's important to forget the usual ways of interacting and find a different strategy. Dealing with people who act narcissistically might seem a bit weird, but it's important to approach it differently. Instead of getting emotionally involved, try to stay calm and unaffected. Simple and clear responses like, no, no thank you, sorry, not available, I can't do that, I'm not interested, and thank you work surprisingly well. The trick is to keep it short and sweet. A single no can be enough. Practice saying these things in front of a mirror without getting too emotional. The key is to stay cool and composed. Let the words sink in, and don't be afraid of the silence that follows. Even if this approach feels unlike your usual style, remember, dealing with a narcissist requires a different strategy. Your goal is to stay calm, avoid getting emotional, 
and respond to them with rational and composed answers. Think of the word no followed by a deliberate pause as a powerful tool. Embrace the silence, take a breath, and remind yourself that you're just sharing information. It's not about emotions, but about handling things professionally. You can also use phrases like, I understand, I see, I hear you, I'll let you know, let me see, or let me think about it. Keep them short and clear, followed by intentional pause. Even though it might seem counterintuitive, silence can be incredibly powerful, especially when dealing with a narcissist. The goal is to send a strong message that they can't control or influence you. You're not an easy target, and their attempts to manipulate won't work. This isn't about starting a power struggle, it's about asserting your independence. Silence can make a narcissist uneasy in ways you wouldn't expect. It's a tool you can use to your advantage. In certain situations, you can use phrases like, cool, all okay, I'm okay with that, that's fine with me, or even I don't care, followed by a purposeful pause. If you're feeling bold, you can confidently say, yeah, that's not going to happen. By communicating in this detached, motionless, and business-like manner, you can effectively neutralize a narcissist. You're not letting them play their games with you. You're making it clear that you won't be a pawn in their scheme. Eventually, they'll have to find someone else to deal with, leaving you in peace. The Grey Rock Method is like putting on an armor that helps you live a calmer and happier life, away from the chaos caused by a narcissist. Instead of trying to change the person, it's about stopping their attempts to control and manipulate you. This method is essential for taking back your peace, independence, and life. Dealing with a harmful narcissist is where the Grey Rock Method comes in handy. It means using silence to protect yourself. Right from the start, show that you have clear boundaries, that you're not an easy target, and that their actions won't shake you. The goal is to be as boring and uninterested as a gray rock. This approach aims to calm down what could be a very intense situation. You're not trying to make things worse, you're just trying to lower the chaos. While you can't control what the narcissist does, you have control over your own actions. The idea is to calm things down, not make them worse. Avoid triggering the narcissist, as it can lead to negative outcomes for you. Your mere presence might sometimes upset them, but where you have control, use it wisely. Don't try to have the last word or get into pointless arguments. Keep your ego in check and avoid causing unnecessary problems whenever you can. By using this method, you can stop the narcissist from manipulating and controlling you. Instead of playing their games, you're showing that you won't be part of their plan. Eventually, they'll realize they can't control you and move on to someone else, leaving you in peace. This strategy helps you navigate interactions with the narcissist, avoid conflicts, and protect your mental and emotional well-being. Remember, narcissists want to get an emotional response from you. Be ready to respond with phrases like, okay, you're entitled to your perspective, or you're allowed to feel that way. By not engaging and staying away from their negativity, you're denying them the attention they seek. They'll understand that you're not a good source of that attention. Stay detached whenever you can. Don't get caught up in their games. When talking to them, use I or we language to stay connected to your identity in confusing conversations. Avoid using you language as it can make things worse. Stick to I and we language, focusing on managing your own emotions without resorting to sarcasm. Stay true to yourself, stay strong and clear-headed. Don't let go of your power. That's it for our talk today. I hope you learned something useful. If you liked what you heard, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, and share the main points. Pass it on to friends if you think they'd like it too. If you're new here, a big welcome and thanks for joining. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications since I post new videos every day. Leaving you with this thought, Know your value, recognize your worth, and embrace your freedom. Excited for our next chat. Sending lots of love, and see you soon.